Uh, Gary, and if you were going to build around a value play, who would it be? I think Zubak is, is looking really nice tonight. And this is kind of an eerily similar situation to his last game. I'm not saying he's going off for 32 and 10 again. I don't think he's going to go 15 for 19 from the field. But the Clippers were in a matchup with the Nuggets, a team that has an elite all-star MVP level center. And they needed Zubak's size for that entire game. So he plays 37 minutes and he's been someone who's always been very efficient when he gets his minutes in terms of just grabbing DraftKings points. And now they're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers who have Joel Embiid. They're gonna need someone with size to battle Embiid in the paint. I mean, as long as he's able to stay out of foul trouble, which I know is, is a considerable thing against Joel Embiid, I think he's gonna play over 35 minutes again. And at $4,600, if you're getting someone who averages well over a DraftKings point per minute, with that kind of volume, I just think he's someone you can't ignore. Who is someone you can't ignore in the value department, Waylon? Uh, Jordan Clarkson at 5,800 with no Donovan Mitchell. Uh, you're not getting a, a deep discount there by any means, but you know, pretty big usage boost with, with Mitchell out of the lineup with that concussion. Uh, you know, On the other side of that, Van Adebayo matchup, if Clint Capella doesn't play, is Onyeka Okongwu, who continues to impress me every single night. He actually reminds me of a young Van Adebayo in a lot of ways. He's got 33 and 41 DraftKings points in his last two. Uh, so I like him at 5,400. And um, then I also throw out Garrison Matthews, 3,700 against Golden State. And if you're following the minutes, Aaron Wiggins for the Thunder at 3,500. He's played 30 plus in each of his last two. Always a dicey rotation to try to predict, but uh, that kind of upside, you know, in terms of minutes for a near min price guy is, is pretty solid. Okay, if you're gonna build around a value play Fryer, which guy are you going with? I like the Clarkson call from my fellow Nick, but uh, my favorite play tonight is actually Monty Morris at 5K versus the Grizzlies. And I know people are going to be looking at him quite a bit because he had that big night uh, against the Clippers last time out, played 45 minutes, overtime battle, all those things. Um, I wouldn't expect him necessarily to get that much um, production, but I look at what happened last time out and opposing point guard did against the Grizzlies. George Hill went for 33 and a half DK fantasy points, obviously had a much cheaper uh, salary. The Grizzlies are obviously thin at guard. We talked about that a little bit. I know people are looking for value on the opposite side of the matchup, but also consider when they're thin at guard, you want to attack them with guards too. Um, and there are only two teams that have given up more DK fantasy points to opposing point guards uh, than Memphis this season.